There is a new Trust Wallet available for your browser, and in this video, I'll show you how to set that up. Okay, I'm at my desktop. I'm just gonna open up my browser. I'll make sure and link this in the description below. This is available for Chrome, Brave, Opera, and Edge. You can go ahead and install it by clicking on the Get Trust Wallet option over here. It's gonna take you to the Chrome store, and then you just click on Add to Chrome, click on Add Chrome Extension, and you can see that it's being added to my browser. So I'll just go ahead and click on the browser over here, and we've just launched the wallet, and what we're gonna do right now is create a new wallet by clicking on the Create New Wallet button. To improve the wallet, you can share your data, but you also have the choice to not share your data, so you can click on No Thanks if you don't want to, or click on Share Data if you wanna help optimize the application. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a password for this wallet, and it has to be at least eight characters, one uppercase, a special character, and a digit, and I'll go ahead and put that in here twice and then check the check mark box and then click on proceed. And now what it's gonna do is show me a secret phrase. Now the secret phrase is something that you don't wanna share with anybody. I'm not gonna be using this wallet. So I'm gonna show you my secret phrase by clicking on start and then click on got it. And here is my secret phrase. Again, I'm not gonna be using this. Your secret phrase is your single line of defense and you should never ever share this passphrase with anybody else. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on copy uh, there's many ways to secure it. The number one way is just write it down on a piece of paper, put it in a drawer where no one else can find it, and then only you have access to it. Uh, once you have this recorded, you can click on proceed. So here is my secret phrase. I pasted it in a, a notepad. Now what we want to do is repeat back the phrase in order that we received it. So that is now complete. And go ahead and click on next. You can leave the Trust Wallet as your default wallet. It's gonna be very much like MetaMask where it's available to work with many different chains. Uh, you can turn that off uh, if you don't wanna do that. You also have the option if you scroll down here to pin it in place. It's just letting you know that you just have to click on the puzzle and then click on this pin option. And now it's gonna always be here so it's readily available. And then what we can do now we're complete, we can go ahead and click on open and we're just gonna get a tips on how to use it. Go ahead and just click on got it. And then just letting you know that it's ready to use and you can always act access the settings over here and just say I'm ready to use the wallet and there we go and now we have the trust wallet added to our Chrome browser I think it's a great addition you now sync the same phrase from your mobile phone with your browser and have access to the same funds no matter where you are so that's also very useful I'm over here on the home page you can click on the settings button then you can go up here to the network if you want to change your network that you're on and say you want to go to Avalanche or Polygon or BNB, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can add a custom network. This is very similar to the MetaMask setup. We'll just go back over here and then you can have the option for language. You can set it as your default and then view your secret phrase. We can just click on that and I'll just put in my password here, which is the eight character alphanumeric password. It's gonna reveal my secret phrase, which I've already shown you. And here it is. And so you have the option to copy it or download a text file which contains it. And then once again, it's very important that you never share your secret phrase with anybody. If anybody has access to the secret phrase, they have access to your funds. So let me close out of that. And then we can go back into the main window over here. And that's how you do it. That's how you set up the Trust Wallet with Chrome on a Windows 11 PC. This will work with many different browsers. I've just listed them right here on the screen. If you have your crypto on exchanges after this whole FTX blowout, I'm sure there's a lot of people telling you to take your crypto and put it into your private wallet. This is a private wallet. You have complete access and control over it. And this is a great example of getting things out. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.